Hello everybody, welcome to the rainbow! She's down around 48 degrees right now. Don't be deceived by the warm looking sunlight because it, right now it's probably about 66 degrees, but at night it gets down to, oh, probably around 37, 38 degrees quite often. We're up on top of a mountain and it's beautiful. We get real weather out here. But I love to leave the pool without the heat so that I can get out of the sauna and jump in and get a little Wim Hof therapy. And it's very, very good for you. You know, I think what most of you that follow me know I'm gonna be 60 this year. And one of the things that I do is I take cold showers. I've only taken, I think, two warm showers in the last 14 years, just because it's so vitalizing to the body. And it really trains the autonomic nervous system and the arteriovascular tree because when you get cold like that your body pushes blood to the surface so you actually have a sympathetic reaction pushes the blood to the surface to try to keep you warm but then as you go numb the arteriovascular tree contracts and you get what's called a hunter's reflex and it pushes all your blood down into the core to protect your vital organs so that you don't freeze to death and that process of expanding and the sympathetic reaction to push the blood to the surface, then followed by a parasympathetic reaction and pushing the blood in, actually exercises your arterial tree and keeps your blood system strong so that you're much more capable of handling uh, shifts in the environment. One of the reasons that people age so quickly today is that they're in temperature controlled rooms all the time and they hardly get any exposure to temperature shifts like that. So getting a good solid shock in cold water now and then is extremely therapeutic. I've seen research showing that it increases androgen, androgen production, which is your growth and repair hormones. And it's also a technique I use to help people recover from adrenal fatigue because it stimulates <laughs> adrenaline naturally, especially when it's this cold. So typically, I can only do about three laps before my brain is going so numb that it hurts very bad, unless I want to just make it a, a deep Wim Hof meditation and uh, see if I can really uh, generate a lot of internal heat. But I have enough spiritual practices that I don't feel like I need to torture myself. And I don't think people need to torture themselves or do extreme things, but six to 10 minutes in a cold shower is a great way to vitalize yourself. If you're using hot water, then just finish with cold. It's always important to finish with cold. You shouldn't use cold therapies like this if you're sick or your constitution's not strong enough to handle the shock. Um, people like that can start just by running their hands under cold water. And then as their body adapts and they feel naturally more inclined, they can put more of their body or get in the shower and just put an arm or a leg. The butt and the back are usually much more capable of handling cold than the rest of the body. So I tell people just start with the back of your leg and then get your back butt in and then your back and then as you adjust to it, then just get your whole body in. I'm just going to dive right in. This is going to be a, a breathtaking experience, but uh, hey, that's what makes it all fun. And I'll see if I can get a few laps in here before I go eat lunch. So here we go. Aho, water spirits. <laughs> but there you go. That's a tip for staying young and keeping yourself vital. And for those of you guys that you're sex drive just ain't what it used to be six to ten minutes in the cold shower before your lover will 
put some lead back in your pencil. So there you go, lots of love.